I'm Mario Ritter with the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. Cacao or cocoa trees grow in hot, rainy areas of Africa, Asia, and Central and South America. Their beans are used to make cocoa powder, cocoa butter, and of course, chocolate. There are five to six million growers, maybe more. Many are poor family farmers with only a few hectares. West Africa produces more than half of all cocoa beans. Ivory Coast leads the world in production, followed by its neighbor, Ghana. The trees are usually in their fifth year when they start to grow the pods that contain the beans. The trees produce the most pods when they are 10, but they are still productive long after that. Workers use large knives to cut the lower pods and long tools to remove pods from high on the trees. Later, they break open the pods to remove the beans. A half gram of chocolate requires about 400 beans. The World Cocoa Foundation says an average pod contains 20 to 50 beans. And experts say growers may lose perhaps one-third of their harvest to disease and insects. But now scientists have genetic maps of two kinds of cocoa trees. These genomes are mostly complete and could lead scientists to new ways to increase production and prevent disease. Mapping genes is the first step to understanding an organism. Next comes learning the job of each gene. The American food company Mars took the lead in paying for mapping the genes of the Forastero cocoa tree. The Forastero provides eight, 80 to 90 percent of the world's cocoa beans. Mars depends on those beans for its M&Ms and other chocolate candies. The company's research partners included several universities and the United States Department of Agriculture. The average West African cocoa farmer produces about 400 kilos of beans per hectare. But Howard Yana Shapiro head of plant science and external research at Mars, thinks that science could greatly increase the yield. A competitor of Mars, Hershey's, supported the gene mapping of the Criollo, a far less common cocoa tree. CIRAD, a French government research center, led scientists from six countries in creating that genome. We'll talk more about the cocoa industry next week when we look at efforts to help child laborers in Ivory Coast and Ghana. For VOA Special English, I'm Mario Ritter. You can read and listen to our reports at voaspecialenglish.com.